Good morning. Um, today I'm going to be talking about this toolbar in the upper corner. This is the ArtRage pen only toolbar. Those of you who have been watching my digital watercolor tutorials have seen it. And uh, I've had a couple of people ask about it. So I'm going to be doing a demo video today, which will go into sort of why I use this toolbar, uh, how I use it, and the benefits that you might gain from using it as well. It uh, runs on Windows, but not on Macs. And um, it's not an official ArtRage product. It's not being produced by the ArtRage team. Uh, me and another ArtRage user have been building this over the last six months. And we think we've got it to a point now where we're interested in sharing it with the public. So thus this demo video. Pretty soon when we release it, uh, We'll also be producing a how-to video, which will go into all the settings and the menus and the details of how you actually use this in greater detail. Today is just a demo video. So first of all, ArtRage and how I use it. I would say that ArtRage is nicely set up in general. It's much better than many other tools. However, I've never found this toolbar and this toolbar over here, uh, those those user interfaces particularly ergonomic. I don't really like having to move my hand to a bottom corner. I'm a right-handed person and my hand wants to swivel to the upper right-hand corner. So I wanted a toolbar that gave me all the typical pen buttons that I, all the typical buttons that I would normally use um, in ArtRage, but make them accessible to my pen. Um, also, I didn't want to have to use a keyboard while using ArtRage. I wanted uh, keyboard shortcuts to be available to me only through the use of my pen. That's the name of the program, right? This is the ArtRage Pen Only Toolbar. So this toolbar does basically four different things, and I'm going to be going over uh, each of those sections. One of them is this tools bar here, which allows me access to this function. The main toolbar, which allows me to have access to mini keyboard shortcuts that I would normally not have available, the hover icons, and how they allow me access to the ArtReach pods, as well as the quick strike buttons within uh, various, um, various pods. So we've built in these buttons. So first things first, I like to work in the clear canvas mode. I often, I'm either working on a Cintiq or a tablet PC or a slate, and I don't want to have a cluttered workspace. I want it to be clean and efficient. So unfortunately, of course, at the same time that ArtRage provides you this, this clean space, it also takes away the, the UI. Well, I don't want to have to go back and forth between this full canvas mode and the clear canvas mode. I want to do everything, but I want to do it on this nice open canvas that we have here. Right now, with the ArtRage pen only toolbar, I can grab any tool that I want. I can import it into here. This is totally customizable. The tools bar is. I can uh, put any any of the any of the ArtRage mark making tools over here. I can get any of them, and I can put any of them in any button that I want. So if you're an oil painter, you can have one setup. If you're a, a watercolorist, you can have another setup. And um, you can change it whenever you want and re reboot it. It's super quick and easy to run. So that's what this does. And I think you can get a sense of the functionality of this. In particular, it's nice because I have access to all of the commonly used uh, you know, drawing tools, but I don't have to exit this, this, um, this clear canvas mode, which I really enjoy in ArtRage. Um, additionally, I have the main toolbar. In here, I have a host of uh, shortcuts that I would normally need to have a keyboard for. I can uh, rotate my canvas. I can reset it. I can also use my lasso. And I can use my transformation tools. Right. I can also um, use things like an, a contextual color picker. So I don't have to leave this very clean space. I have an eyedropper. I also have an undo and a redo button. What's particularly nice about these is they function a little differently than the ArtRage ones. 
Now, I don't really care for where ArtRage puts theirs, which is um, kind of up and over to the left. Now, of course, you can actually tear it off the edge and move this toolbar to where you'd like it to go. But beyond that, the truth is once I go into clear canvas mode, I can't do the undo without a keyboard. I don't want a keyboard. I want to do it all on the screen. So what happens is I can hit this button and it'll do the undo, but it'll keep on doing it for me as if I was repeatedly striking, you know, control Z or tapping over and over again the existing ArtRage um, undo button. Well, ArtRage undo button only does one at a time. This undo button does lots of them. And of course, the redo button does the same thing. If you're doing things like uh, cross hatching or pencil work, shading, things like that, you know, then this can become an exceptionally useful tool to be able to erase a lot of strokes in a row. Additionally, I can resize my tool and zoom my canvas without having to use the ArtRage Puck. The Puck is actually a very functional tool, but it's a little large for me. And of course, it's not available on clear canvas. So now I can uh, resize, and I can resize to up to 500 in a, in a heartbeat. I don't have to come down here and tap this and you know, open up this additional UI over here. I, I don't have to do any of that. Instead, I just tap that button, and I can scroll. I can also tap this button and zoom, which is really, really nice. Additionally, if I um, have a pen that has two buttons on it, right, a, a lower button and an upper button, besides the eraser, I can set this upper button to, um, for example, to resize and zoom. So now, for example, I can resize my tool without ever even going to use the ArtRage Penalty toolbar. I can simply, um, boop, go backwards. I can simply zoom. I resize my, my tool on the fly using my upper pen button. I, the same thing goes for zooming. Here I am doing it right now. My cursor never had to go over here and strike any buttons. Um, this is all being done just through my, the second button on my pen. ArtRage doesn't currently allow you to bind um, things like zoom and, um, and resize to your pen buttons. So this allows you to do it, and, it, and you don't have to have it be this way for all of your programs. Um, so that is also a really nice feature. I really like that element of it. Beyond these things, the main toolbar and the tools bar, we have hover icons. Hover icons, basically, you set them up inside of the menus within the Arrange Penalty toolbar, and it creates a very small interface, these hover icons. You can make a hover icon for any pod that ArtRage offers. So if you really like certain color samples, or you use stencils or presets all the time, whatever it might be, they can all become a hover icon. I don't have to tap the icon. I just hover over it, and up pops for me the full user interface. Additionally, I can move it to wherever I want, if I'm left-handed, if I'm right-handed, whatever. Maybe also I wanted to save space. Well, I can place these two icons very close to each other. And when I hover over the settings, for example, it doesn't matter that it covers the other hover icon. So you can see that this allows me a great deal of flexibility in terms of how I'm going to set up my workspace. Um, and it allows me a lot of free space so I can just get down to drawing. Additionally, um, we have these quick strike uh, buttons within the hover, within the pods for these hover icons. These are uh, pod specific. So for example, we have a number of different buttons in uh, the stencils pod, uh, where you can basically hit a button to hide all, show all, or remove all of your stencils without having to go down into the flyout menu and pick those things. You can just come up here and boop, hit what you want. Additionally, here I can do things like uh, select all the layer contents. So let's get a different color just so you can see what I'm talking about. I can invert it without having to go up into the menus. Here I am inverting. I'm trying to draw on top, but I can't. It's inverted. I can deselect all. I can edit my layer, uh, my layer textures. All from there. I can also do this, and it pops up the window for my blend mode, so I don't have to go through hitting multiple uh, flyout menus, and instead can just do it with the tap of a single button. 
So like there, I'm going to do this, and then I want to do uh, you know blend mode. I want to do multiply, and I've already and I'm up and running with the multiply blend mode on my new layer in basically seconds. So that's really what this toolbar offers. Um, I have this tools bar here that were, that's customizable according to what you want to include. I have the main toolbar which has all of these key key shortcuts as well as the improvements on the undo and redo as well as being able to resize and zoom without the puck and nor with the interface that you normally have over here and I can do it by binding it to my upper button on I mean, the second button on my pen if you have a two button pen. If you don't have a two button pen of course you can still have access to these tools. Additionally I have the other the hover icons which I can move wherever I want and they can be done to any any of the pods in ArtRange and I have the quick strike keys within the quick strike buttons within the hover icons that are hover icon specific. Um, and of course I can move this if I was left handed it could go over here as well that kind of thing. So I use this every time I use ArtRage. I just I, I don't know I couldn't imagine using ArtRage without this setup. I use it on a Cintiq, I use it on my tablet PC, um, and it's just a dream. I've been really happy with the work we've put into it and I feel like these are interface improvements that are dramatically improving the speed of my ability to paint in ArtRage um, and have a deliciously clean open yet flexible uh, workspace where I can have access to whatever settings I might find important to, m to my workflow. So this is the demo video. I'll be doing a how-to later like I said and um, we'll be releasing this in a, in a couple weeks and uh, giving everybody an opportunity to play with it. If you have questions or thoughts about this you can leave a message here on, on my YouTube channel you know with the video you can also click on the link to go to the watercolor whips thread at the art rage forms and you can post there or pm me or email me however you see fit i would be perfectly happy to answer any questions anybody has i'm very excited to get to share this it's we've been working on this for a long time so thanks a lot you guys and i hope uh, this piques your interest bye bye